is it's ruins there and it's kind of about the connection between the history of this place and then what it currently is today which is people that look like us coming here to be tourists and to you know play golf and that's kind of crazy right is that it's like a lot has changed golf in here you guys like to play golf yeah man we're crazy golfers crazy golfers yeah love golf you ever play do you play golf no i no? never play golf before. you never tried i never tried before never tried listen i know there's a lot of fancy clubs around here there's a lot of fancy ones around but listen here. the best golf is played on like a local neighborhood track where it's just people hanging out, drinking some cerveza, drinking cerveza, having shot laughs. tequila. Exactly, man. That's what that's what the golf the golf that's here that we're gonna shoot tomorrow, Riviera Maya. Yeah. It's like it's like a whole nother thing. I know. Um, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. But it's like, you know, you gotta go and, and experience the thing that people know about of Mayakoba, they know about Riviera Maya, they know about these famous places. So, you know, what we're trying to do is like go there, experience it a little bit, but have a conversation about what's really happening in Mexico, what's really happening in this area, what the locals are into, that kind of stuff. Golf is fire. Golf is passion. Golf is you. If you play golf, you probably seek out the competitive nature within. That spirit that challenges you to be better, to be greater. Forever improving with no end in sight. Golf has no finish line. It doesn't need one. There is no medal, no trophy, after you play the last round of your life. No gallery, no fanfare. Just you and the earth beneath your feet. And so, it becomes the most personal game in the world. We arrived here at Riviera Maya Golf Club with no plans, no agenda, no interviews to shoot, just to play. Robert Trent Jones II cut the 27 holes here at Riviera Maya into a limestone quarry and took extra precautions using state-of-the-art technology to marry the natural land and the golf course. Fairways are lined with trees and foliage. An enormous cenote sits just below the green on what could be the signature hole. I wondered if this cenote connected to the cenotes at El Camelion or Chablé. The land has an energy here. If you don't feel it, surely you'll see it. The natural elements are carefully preserved, as are the ruins of one of the largest Mayan cities, Chichen Itza. may have had the most diverse population in the Mayan world, as is evident by the wide variety of architectural design. In 2017, over two and a half million people visited this site. Why? Why would they come here? What were they looking for? What am I looking for? This place 
has to, on some level, take you back in time, obviously. But only for a moment, which is before you realize that the past is lost. Trapped in the minds of those long gone. The only way is forward. We all know that. box you have to go to the next so for me on this journey that's mexico city where the game of golf is truly living in the present <laughs>